Hello, it's us again. Hello. We're back. We're back um, with beer. We're halfway through. It's great. Just over halfway, actually. And we still have two games left to play. Mm. So we better crack on with it. This is called Red Ronin. And this is the game, well, one of the games out of the, I honestly don't remember, uh, over 200 games that we played for this. Um, That's a lot of games, Alex. I wanted to immediately keep playing this after... I turned it off. You played this with me watching. I did. And You're I right. remember so you've you, seen this. Because I was saying, Alex, it's like midnight. We need to <laughs> push through the last two games on your list. You're like, yeah, but That's I just want to do this a little, little bit more. more and this. you did. I think <laughs> um, a good 20 minutes more before I made you stop. It's just very, I found it very Moorish and very fun. Um, but it's kind of like, I, in my head, it was like a kind of a puzzly samurai game. I don't know if puzzle is a very good way of describing it. It's a tile-based slasher game, right? Strategy? Strategy? Yeah. Um, you have to think about it, at least. Uh, does yeah. that count as oh, strategy? We're <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, yeah you, have we're to, you have to put a bit of thought. I mean, I think... Let's, let's have a look. Let's see uh, where it is in Tiny Teams, because I remember having to think a little bit about where this would be. Like, in my head... I think my immediate thought was, oh, it's going to be, I'm going to put it in puzzle. But it's not. I think it's actually more like uh, like a slasher or it's tactical. So this it's is, in one of these two. There you go. It's literally there. It's in strategy and tactical. And it's out. So you can not only... It's out right now. ...see us play it. You, you can, can buy the whole experience. You can purchase it right now. It's 35% off. It's £3.76. And there's a demo available. So just just check out the there's demo. There's no reason not to. There's absolutely no reason there not to. There is always a version of this game that you can play. Yeah. So uh, go play it. <laughs> or you can just watch us play it right now to make up your mind. That's true. Uh, which James is going to do. Oh, okay, cool. not be yeah. the best representation for <laughs> this game. Yeah. I mean, um, I feel like that applies to all the games that we've, that we've played this evening. Uh, well, excuse you. <laughs> um... But let's see how this goes. Okay. I think, I think you just have to press space, don't you? There you are. That's you. It's the intro sequence to Mad Men. <laughs> I just, I was like, oh, that's a nice reflection. It's a nice reflection. I thought it was a glitch at first. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, that's a reflection. That's really well done. It's bleeding out. Right or wrong, truth or lies, none of this makes sense. Forgive me, guys. But I'll be together soon. He's falling off a building. Sorry. Nice action hero Snowing. voice you did there. Thank you. Is that Alan Rickman? Thank you. Oh. Blood Trail. Central District, May 15th, 2040. Yeah. It's in the future, guys. Isaac, you sure about that? Wait, okay, so I'll do red. This is just the beginning, Isaac. Chris, I think you're Isaac. Is that a computer? What is it? What it looks like some sort of helper bot, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just his car. Maybe it's like Kit. Right. He's flating behind. So your kit then, Chris. Your Isaac uh, kit. I can't remember what kit sounds like. It's uh, polite. The only thing that came to my head was uh, how, but <laughs> something like that. And you know the consequences. Yeah, just give me his location. <laughs> I don't think that's what Red sounds like. No, that does not. Yeah, that's the voice I can do, right? The target is on the highest floor. My readings are indicating a high number of individuals inside. It is likely that they know we are coming. Oh, I like the posh bar. Perfect. I can go posher if you want. I think posher. Mm. Do you want a shortcut? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. No. Let's go by the front door. Jolly O. Okay. <laughs> Off we go, chap. Ooh, all right. So, immediately, movement is quite interesting, right? Yeah. Using the... What's that? We're dashing. So, you just have movement in a straight line, in a straight line, De left up, left up, right down. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> You've only had two sips of no. that beer, Alex. <laughs> I'm done. I am just completely wasted. Oh, I see, yeah. No yeah. diagonals, yeah. at least, uh, oh yeah? Not as far as I'm aware. Diagonals is the sequel. <laughs> Red diagonals. <laughs> Diagonal Ronin. Have you got sound? I don't have sound. Actually. I do. Or it's very quiet. It sounds quiet. No music, but there is sound. Yeah, there is you no can hear the dash. Hey. I can hear it now. I can hear it. You can hear the dash. The dash We've yeah. had the dash for a while. It's a bit quiet. 
That's good. I think that noise, the white noise is... The, One of us. The rain? It's our mics. Is it the rain? Some nice, like, rain. I thought it was... Rain. Rain. Oh, okay, here we go. Now, here's the, here's the music. All right. They've got swords. Well, why if do, I just do this, what happens? Bam. Oh, you own them. Look at In that. very graphic ways. Oh, that was really satisfying. Four, three. Oh, I didn't hear the music when you played it. No, I don't. Oh, oh my God. It was straight in half. I don't remember seeing that before. That was That's brutal. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, I just feel so, I, the movement just feels so good. How are you going to get out of this one, James? You've done it. Oh, oh no. see? No, I get it. Just showing off the what happens, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So every time you make a movement, the enemy also makes a movement, right? Yeah. Or it gives the enemy the opportunity to make a movement. Time skips forward by one. One unit of time, whatever that is. A second? Let's call it a second. What is that red? What is the red bit? <gasps> oh. oh. I think if you'd have gone back one, maybe? Hmm. Can you just, like, duck and dive? Just do. Oh, no, I think you uh, can beans start yourself in there. Beans it again. Should have gone down instead. Oh. oh. Do I have infinite lives? I guess I just lose points. Are you losing points? Nice. 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 Ooh. Back again. There we go. How are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Well done. Well. I kit following you along. Oh, what are you going to do? Are here? these traps, are they? They might be. They are. You could trap a few enemies on those. I thought Isaac was a pair of panthers. <laughs> well, it's like a little, it's like a little um, futuristic, a little like floating Metroid helmet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it's like a it's, Samus it's helmet. An AI, right? I, I love how fast this plays. Though. That's the good thing about yeah. I feel like you can Wait, play this posh? as fast as you want. Press his oh. to freeze. I was going to do a posh axe. Oh, you're right. You skipped it. He's getting you back from when you skipped him on gear shifters. That's true. This is like that one Pokemon Ice Chip, but with swords. Oh God, I hated that as a kid. Wait, so what does this clock do now? So oh, I can freeze time for one unit. They move at half the speed, I think. Because the last time when he moved, they half did, they did half the slash animation. I see. Oh, you're in trouble oh, I don't now, have I another one. Wait, can you go left? Ah. Nice. <laughs> oh, but now how uh, can now you move? What? Can you move? Yeah, they should go down, right? Nah, uh, it doesn't let you do that. Uh, how do you reset? Can you right click? What does right click do? Yeah, what does right click? Nothing at the moment. You Can stuck you yourself. Press it. Oh. <laughs> you just have to die. You can get him. Yeah. Well, he, oh, he goes through the lot, and I'm I get slashed by that woman. Can you at the go top. forward and then? Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, See. Could you not slow time? Well, that's what I did last time. Oh right. So I mean, I could do that. Then go back? And then go back. Yeah, there we go. And then back again. Oh, oh very nice. nice. God, that was smooth. Oh, oh of course. Oh. Oh, I got overexcited. <laughs> I want to see speed runs of this game. You know, people can just samurai slash their way through it in like a second. But that would look so cool. Oh, I did it again. Oh, oh. <laughs> did it again. You just want to go. You just want to go super fast. You'll get into the rhythm of things. I guess it's almost a little bit super hot, isn't it? It's like a tile-based tactical super hot. Yeah. With swords. They move when you do. Yeah. Oh, that's, I've done it again. That's the, no, you can do that. Oh no. Just forward and back. Yeah. Right? Oh, I, I would have had gone the time. And back. Oh, you had the time clock device. 
getting kind of like Crypt of the Necro Dancer vibes as well, where you just want to do everything into <laughs> a rhythm. Oh, now what? What does this lad do? Press the right mouse button to enter tactic mode. There you go, that's my posh, posh robot voice. <laughs> okay. That's very good. Use the mouse to move me around. I don't know why he sounds so excited about <laughs> things. Now, use the mouse scroll to choose which direction you want me to turn. Press the left mouse button to place the direction changer. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Uh, yeah, press the right, my, my right mouse button to turn the camera I want to see this. I want to see this. <laughs> I don't remember you get into this. Or was I not paying attention? No, I didn't get to this. Because we, I remember you playing for this for a good 20 minutes. I don't think you were that good at it. I think maybe I just redid a lot of the levels. It, it's, <laughs> it's, lot. It, it says a lot that you, so you kept playing it being that bad at it. It's Moorish. Which I, you know. Hey, look, we just played Deepest Swords for 50 minutes. That's true. We, we can didn't finish it. Didn't finish a, finish a 20 minute game in 50 minutes. Hmm. Down, left, down, left, up, and then change the direction. Right, you are. There you go. <laughs> okay, this looks complicated. All right. Well, well surely I'm just going to get slashed <laughs> immediately. No, because you're going in a straight line, right? You won't get it. Oh, right. Oh, I don't know about this though. Hmm. Uh, but I've got time, so I can go. Oh, that's badass. Hmm. How are you gonna? Nice. I think he's getting the hang of it, Chris. <laughs> Happy to pass oh, the and torch. That's what you're your multiplier. Oh, of oh. course. Of course. Sorry, I know I'm being rude, but I, I'm just <laughs> literally buying it. <laughs> you I just am, bought it. I am buying it now. <laughs> I'm just buying it on my mobile app. This is another good, another Steam Decker for me. That's a good Steam Decker, isn't it? It's a Chris good has Steam actually deck. just bought this game while we're playing it right well, now. I'm going to put my PayPal information now. Um, you also can buy it too. That's that's right. You can buy it. It's three pounds seventy four. I mean, yeah. three pounds seventy four for this for this gold. Hmm. And the thing is, like, people don't see these kind of games on Steam because it just gets released and then. If it, if it doesn't do well, if it doesn't have a lot of wish lists, or if it doesn't do well on the first day. So wish lists are big before release, uh, and then on release day, it's all about... The problem with, with making games these days is mar lot of them, marketing right? is, is the most expensive thing to do as a small studio. How and do you break the, through the noise? Good marketing. Like, if, if you... Well, or you get lucky. Like, it does that. As like, well. and I, but I think that's what's so good. Good marketing with, like, can help you get lucky because more, if, if the right person sees it, yeah, that's it. But then no one's going to see it if you don't do anything. Yeah, right. So it, it is. It's a not. It's a combination of being able to market things correctly and getting it in front of the right people. Yeah, but well, I think that's yeah. Getting it in front of the right people is such a big and. Okay. Yeah, for small developers, something like Tiny Teams or, and festivals that celebrate indie things, yeah. indie showcases or, or whatever, are incredible just because it's something that comes along every so often. And that is that's exactly what Tiny Teams is about, yeah. is that it's, it's very difficult, or it can be very difficult on Steam, not just on Steam, just as a developer, just anywhere, to release your game. When so many other people are releasing games uh, with much larger budgets, with much larger teams that are also really good, um, but how do you get noticed? How do you do that? It's not easy. And, but I think also people are kind of a little bit more open to um, 
I don't know, like the idea of, in the last year since we did Tiny Teams, Among Us happened. Yeah. And that game was, as far as like most people are concerned, an old game, right? Yeah. It's, it's a couple of years old. Um, and all of a sudden it exploded and everyone was playing it. And I think people now are a bit more open to the idea of like, oh, okay, if I see the same on Steam and it was released two years ago, that doesn't mean that like the sentence has already been made, right? Like no. it can still be, it can still be something great that's worth checking out. And that's the thing is it, it, it got in front of the right people. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, and, Greenbeard. Um, you got my back. Very well done, James. I was being silly boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this, this hurts me. <laughs> hey, Greenbeard, if you, if you purchase this game right now for £3.79? 74, I think. 74? Not even £3.79, less than that. Well, no, oh, hang on, hang on. I didn't say that. I said I think. <laughs> Chris has, Chris has uh, changed the price of the game. It's £3.76. I was All so right. close. You can play it right now and play it however you want. I had to buy it. I had to rebuy it because my PayPal didn't work for some reason. So then that, maybe that's why I got the price wrong. Oh, I really like that slice animation. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> I love the bonus. So, am I, am I getting this right? Does the bonus multiplier work in real time? Or is that, or is that not Who right? are you asking that to? Anyone. <laughs> Either of you. <laughs> like, the bonus multiplier seems to disappear if you don't do it, if you don't perform any action for a couple of seconds. Oh, so, right, although okay. the game is turn-based and you can yeah, yeah, sit yeah. there for an hour and not maybe perform an action, if you, if you don't do anything for a couple of seconds, yes, the it bonus is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it encourages, it encourages you to learn the game and yeah, yeah, yeah. going through multiple playthroughs, I guess, to get, to get the best point, uh, the highest score. It's really cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Katana Zero. Did you play that? Mm. Uh, which was on, I think that's on Steam as well. Um, which I want to say is also a tiny team. Maybe, might be wrong about that. It's on Switch. I played it on Switch. Um, and that had a really great feeling of just, just like running through a level and just feeling like an absolute badass samurai. Wait, who is this? Who sent you? Come on, Red, we can solve this. Give me some time. There's no turning back. Again, I don't think that's the that's their voice. <laughs> no, that's that's their voice. Who sent you? I I can help you. Just say the name and I'll figure out. I'll figure out. Chatty, I'll give you those location. You know I can help you. Let's negotiate. We can solve this together. You're really a rat. <laughs> You'd even sell your mother to get out of this. This is how I reach where I am now. I think chat is about to die. And this is how it will end. Yeah, there we go. So is this a boss fight now? Oh, there you go. If you use tactic mode or freeze time, the multiplier slows down. Oh. It is very hotline samurai. Hotline samurai. I like that. Are they going to reach the exit by the time you get there, though? No, they're not. Oh, oh I really that. like that. That was nice. That was nice. You missed that, Alex. I missed that. You I missed was that. looking at the Steam page. I completely missed it. Oh. Please, you PayPal, your voice let me now, buy Alex. the game, What PayPal. is this? Chris? This looks like a memory unit. <laughs> this voice has changed every time. <laughs> it's gone a bit C-3PO now. They're generally used to store sensitive information, and the data contained has very secure encryption. Do you think it could be decrypted? It may take some time, but yeah, it's possible. Yeah, that's yeah, not, that's a bit too very informal, isn't it? Yeah. I'm receiving data from the bottom floor. She's moving. I've, I've, okay, I've, let's go. I've just drifted between Butler, <laughs> C3PO, <laughs> just random oh. posh people. 
That's so great. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh we've got another. <laughs> that ball looks like a pink pair of panties. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I see it. I don't think I see it. It looks a bit Samus to me. Samus visor. I can see this. Yeah, I can see the Samus. The car is gone. Oh, no, I do see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, now I see it. Oh, sorry. As expected, the locator already is already working. She's going to North and Fifth Avenue. Oh, she's going North. Let's go now. Not yet. I want to see what's inside this thing. Okay, just don't forget why we're doing this. Don't forget. 41 kills, 12 deaths. How many turns? 350. Three. C. Rank C. Oh, James. That's not bad. That's all right. It's a pass. You've passed. <laughs> You've passed the level. Yes. Chris? I don't know if I want to ruin it because I've bought it. Oh, like, you know on. what I mean? <laughs> I'm enjoying District just watching 15. James watch I'm enjoying this. watching James. James, do you mind playing a bit more I'm, while we watch I'm it? I'm cool to keep going. I, yeah. It took me four attempts. I bought it. That's how much I want to play this <laughs> on my Steam Deck. But I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to ruin it for myself. Is this the dev? I didn't realise. Tiago. You were talking about the games if you knew a lot. And now you're talking about your wish lists. It must be. The uh, Pixel Skater devs are here as well. There you go. Red Ronin had a greater and wish list peak. They have both confirmed. Yeah. Red Ronin has the greater wish list peak ever. Pixel Skater wish lists have exploded from these events. Let's talk to the below average. So I can manage what devs, imagine what devs without any marketing go through. Yeah. It's tough. Our wish lists have, have gone up. Which always amazes me when I'm like, how is like my the, the thing that I made was out two years ago and I'm there's the numbers are doing that well. <laughs> and you're like, Okay. Yeah. Hope, what's that in the distance? It's hope. Oh wait, this oh, is it's a, me. This is a line. Sorry. it's you. Red? Red. Red. Nah. <laughs> I know you're excited and everything, but at least here you can relax, okay? All right, Isaac. Achievement. TV. Immigrants are being taken to uh. decontamination camps. We have been without public executions for six months, and the population has begun to complain. Wow. This is a um, very dystopian future, isn't it? I'm, I'm free. Look. What the hell? Oh, what? There's no tiles. As you no doubt know, executions are used to reinforce morals and good customs. Insert MV. Is that movie? Memory, Memory unit. units. Oh, it's an MU. <laughs> movie. <laughs> movie. <laughs> I don't know. That might be what movie. I call them in the, in the future. MVs. Do you want to go to the MVs? Better get some sleep while the memory unit is decrypting. Okay. Go to bed. Do you sleep on the sofa? Of course, you're cool. And it's this dystopic future, Alex. You've slept for not not very long. I don't think you've got a full eight hours there. <laughs> you don't need a full eight hours. Nation to... celebrates one more victory, but the so war is really close to the end. <laughs> According to sources, ending the war would affect the private businesses. Access movie. <laughs> <laughs> Going under. Wait, 2039. This is the year's gone back. Oh, it's because it's a memory. Oh, you're unit. watching um, a movie. You are watching a movie now. <laughs> uh, should I be chatting? Uh, I mean, yeah. Red, are you already at the point of contact? Yes. Now what? Now we wait for wait a priest a sign. You killed them. What sign? Hmm, I don't know for sure. Haha, uh. <laughs> 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 I told you. Wait, what's happening? Chris, I think this is a... Uh, I'm you. the priest. <laughs> the oh priest. my god, look at that priest. <laughs> it's another robot-ish. Power generator disabled. Disabled? You mean obliterated, right? <laughs> the thing had a reinforced... <laughs> Do you like my little ha-ha-ha there? 
<laughs> the thing had a reinforced base. I used all my C4 charges on this. You better make this work, chatty. I'm out if anything goes wrong. Oh, the irony. Have we ever failed? Even once? Relax and stay in position. We take over from here. Got it. Nice. I didn't have Chris. <laughs> Got it. Sorry, I was reading thinking about no beds in the future. Red, it's your turn. Keep it an eye open. Despite the power generator being turned off, my inside contact said they still have autonomous patrol bots. Oh, no. They're in the dark, but we will... <laughs> but we'll take you down if you don't pay attention. Okay. So use your bot friend to stay out of the field of vision. Okay. The job is simple. Get to the current... Get to the central computer to save the security <laughs> system and retrieve the data from the mainframe. They just don't play like a super soldier and we all yeah. will be back home. Don't be a badass. Oh, don't forget to delete the we camera recordings that. too. I don't want to spend all night hacking their system to erase your pretty face. Don't be a hero. That's what they're saying. Got it. Let's do it. James, be a hero. Don't be a hero. Oh. Wait. What happens uh, like, here? So do you have to avoid these? I think so. Yes. Kind of looks like it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, don't go into the zone with the, the line of sight, which is the X's. Ooh. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, well done. Oh, That's pretty good. It's like Metal Gear. <laughs> Oh, you can make right, I kill right. them? You can... No. Oh, no. God, you just... You just die. You touched it and just died. You can just go... Oops, can't I you did just it go again. back right? <laughs> and let it go forward one. So left and then right again? Mm. It's weird. Like, in my brain, it feels like I shouldn't be able to do that. But yeah, I totally... mean... Oh, no, but how can you? Now, you've got, now you you've got the little turny, the tactical lad. Turn uh, left on the... Wait, how does Tactical Lad work again? You can turn and... Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't think he's called Tactical Lad. Um, <laughs> he is now. He's called Tactical Lad. And then back and forth. Tactical Lad Pants. Hmm. And then you want to tactical put the Tactical pants. Lad... Tack Pants. Down there and turn left. Right, yeah. Or course. no, you, you don't need to, right? Do you need to? Do you, yeah, do you need to go right? Well, no, you know, because you can't... You can't move I don't know why out. people mm. listen to me. Oh, Chris. Look, you've made your first mistake. It's <laughs> listening to me. Taking my advice. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, how on earth? No, you need the tactical lad to get into the... Um... The little corner at the bottom left. Yeah, there, yeah. 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 All, right. All right, save the tack lad. I'm learning this now, so when it comes to my run, <laughs> yeah. I can just get the combo straight away. That multiplier is going to be great. <laughs> Right. So all the way down, yeah. Left, then tactical lads there, so you can go left right, straight I away. Right, I get you, I get you. That's the gun. Tactical, tactical lads. Nice. <laughs> Red, and no tactical lads. Hmm. Are you going to use this set? No, surely not. No, you want it there, right? What, there? No, 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 the one, next, well, the one to the right. because no, you'll be in line of sight, won't you? They'll move, I think. Yeah? Maybe. Then go back. Wow. Down. Are you getting the hang of this better than me? Go back again. Down. Nice use of tactical, lad. Wouldn't I <laughs> do this? Yeah. Yeah, tactical lad. Tactical lad. Nice. Changing, Death, from, changing Isaac, from Isaac's lad. tactical lad right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Opens game engine. What was this built in, do you think? Unity, game maker? Is this game maker? Could be anything. Unity's come, Unity's come a long way with 2D games. It's most of the world. Unity, I don't know how it does for pixel art, but it does well for... Um, Vector and spline stuff now because of all the tools they've added. I want to guess. 
could be Godot. It's Game Maker. Is that correct? Ah, see, I thought the time would work, but that didn't seem to work. Hmm. It's, it's, it is weird how different engines get, like, known. What? Like, when people say, oh, that looks like a Unity game. And it's like, weird, but. I don't know. How okay. does that make sense? Because. Yeah, but, Escape yeah, of, it Escape doesn't make Tarkov sense. is made in Unity. But I think also you can still be quite accurate with that. Yes. Do you agree? But, but I Unity, don't know why that's... that's Unity has a... From, from experience in making games in Unity, it's not the game looks like it's made in Unity. The game is lit like it's made in Unity. Unity has a very specific like right. base lighting. What am I thinking? The dev here just backing up our point. It's game making. There you go. It's the, the the lighting shader in Unity is very specific. What is it about Game Maker though? Like I, I get Game Maker. Game Maker is mostly two D games, right? Very Your solid two D engine. Um, I Pain guess that's probably it, made right? in Game Maker. You, yeah. I suppose I say, if it's a, if it's a good two D game, you kind of immediately think, oh, this is probably Game Maker, right? Um, also, I think I'm thinking um, Katana Zero was Game Maker. Oh. I think, and that's. So that's kind of what, although it's mechanically it's different, that's kind of what this reminds me of in some ways. Yeah, everything in Unreal is uh, super shiny at a base level until you change it, and everything Unreal has a, a very even, flat lighting. Right. Uh, actually, everything in Unity has a very flat light, but everything in Unreal is shiny by default. Even the wood. Shiny wood. <laughs> shiny wood. It has a sheen well, it's varnished. to it. That's a feature. All the wood comes through varnished. Yeah, I think 2D games in Unity. I, 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 <laughs> I haven't seen. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of um, like pixel perfect 2D games in Unity. Normally, when they're 2D in Unity, they use the, the spline tools and the. Um, I can't think of any pixel perfect games from Unity. Hmm. Neither can I. I mean, there's probably there must be. there's, there must, yes, there's, there's probably hundreds. loads. Yes. But, um, yeah. Wait, that's not going to work. Is that going to work? I'm looking at Alex's screen again. I really need to look at my screen for this. Celeste. Oh, Celeste. Is that you? Is that you there we go. Right. <laughs> Google. Opens Google. <laughs> I know the answer. I just need to think of it uh, for 30 seconds. It's 10 past. So we're going to have five more minutes of this, I think. And then we'll check out the final game. Oh, shit. Oh. Celeste is X and A. Cuphead, so Hollow Knight. They're, not, they're just platformers. They're not pixels. It's not Unity. It's X and A. X and A. What is so it? So it's just it? their own... Um, their own thing. Yeah. Oh, it was originally made in Pico 8. Have you ever seen Pico 8? So Pico 8, is a, Pico, 8. Pico 8 is a really great little game engine. It's Lua, I think. And okay. you get 256 kilobytes. So you, you make cartridges, like virtual cartridges. And they're 256 oh. kilobytes. Um, and there's a, there's a, um, they do a great um, game jam, which is tweet a tweet jam. The game has to fit in a tweet. And people make just incredible. Like someone made a full um, like CAD software in Pico 8. What? It's incredible. Uh, it's a great way to like, um, there you go, yeah. Pico 8 version is accessible in the game. Yeah, game within a game. I we did XNA right? in uni. Uh, I hated it <laughs> so much. It took me like it takes you like ten days to get a sphere rendering properly, and then you just go into un like <laughs> Unity and go add a sphere. <laughs> and you're like, yay! The um, pixel skater uh, looks like they know oh, yeah. XNA as well. Ha XNA has horror, has horrific flashbacks. How do you fit a game in a tweet? Well, if it depends on what, it's more like mini, mini games. So you could easily, in Pico 8, like make Snake in, how many tweet, 240 characters? Is it 240? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's so say it is. Pico 8 has a built-in uh, chiptune track designer and a sprite editor. Hmm. It's a really nice, powerful little tool. Um, I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's very cool. Risk of Rain, that was Unity. Risk of Rain 2. Ah, Risk of Rain 2. Is Risk of Rain 1 also Unity? Sounds 
possible that that is a recent game. Yes, there is. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did the same thing again. God. <laughs> the way we, we're just having a chat about <laughs> game no, This works just, for me. I James is just in the back. No, like, I'm trying not to ruin the surprise now. for me. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm sure this is thrilling to watch me uh, mess up all the time. I've genuinely got into, um, I've got a backbone ordered, the phone controller so I can play like Xbox Game Pass xCloud on my phone whilst just on the sofa. That's nuts. I don't know why, but I, I, I wanted to play a lot of games, That's just not on my computer anymore. <laughs> I'm just fed up of sitting there. So I want to sit somewhere I else. Understand that. And I, I feel like the Steam Deck and I use my Switch, play That's a bit why Mario I use Golf. Steam Remote Play. Like, uh, yeah. I have, I just have a laptop that I just connect to the, like HDMI downstairs. Um, and it runs really well. But I'm excited to play uh, like a game like this on Steam Deck. Just anywhere I want that's not a computer desk. <laughs> but knowing me, I'll probably sit at my computer desk. Just play it, but yeah. playing, a st but <laughs> playing with the Steam Deck. I have another game open on the desktop. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gear Shift is on one. Red Ronin on the other. Oh, there you go. Pixel Skater in X and A back in 2008. Completely built the game Unity. Wow. wow. 2014, you've been working on it since. So Pixel Skater, 13 years. Holy crap. What? It depends on how far, I don't I get how far they got in the X and A version, because you could even, depending on how far you get, that's either a hard task or an incredibly, incredibly hard task. Are you having trouble, James? I think I have been... Are you having a, a bad time? I think I'm being a dum-dum. Oops. Are you about to rage quit? Wait, why don't you... Screw... Oh, okay. No, I, just... I don't... <laughs> I don't get this bit. Why didn't you go back? Ahead. I don't get this bit. Why didn't you go back right when you got to the top? <laughs> right. Help me, then help, go me down. help me solve this. So get to where you just got. Uh-huh. Right. This yeah. is where I... So do what you just did. I'm messing up. But without the next step. Wait, do what I just did, which was so to freeze time. That doesn't seem right. So it was it was when you did the step after this, when you should have gone back on yourself, I think. I wasn't really paying that much attention <laughs> to what you were doing. <laughs> you were like, no, just do this. Actually, I wasn't really paying attention. So um, go up. Ignore my advice. You reckon go up? Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. No, no, you can't go... Right, because there's spikes. But the spikes are up, so do they... They'll kill still, you. Do they yeah, hit yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, they'll, kill, they'll kill you. <laughs> All right, well, James, don't listen to me. Um, <laughs> but he's already warned you, James. I don't know why you... Uh, I've got zero like points you. now. I've burnt through all my <laughs> you points. You used all of your points. Oh, no. No. He's having a great time. Oh, the Tony Hawk devs on the mobile game. Hmm. I did, uh, so I played the demo of Pixel Skate. We'll be playing it again in a minute, We're but I played the soon. demo. And what I really appreciated is that I didn't have to learn any of the controls because it was literally just childhood muscle memory oh, kicked really? in for Tony Hawk. Nice. And I was like, yes, <laughs> that's, thank you. <laughs> I don't have to learn because there's so many tricks. Another thing I love about Tiny Teams events is that you get a chance to have some a chat with some, some of the devs during those streams. There's always some interesting behind the scenes stuff, yeah. We were talking about this a little bit earlier, is that it's um, and not to belittle the work of like all the other people that are involved in organizations in larger games, but for quite a lot of the smaller games where it's a solo dev or a couple of people, they have to do a lot of the marketing work on their own, or they're very personally invested in a lot of it. And so it's quite often that we had this last year as well, when we have streams with Tiny Teams games, quite often the devs will show up. Um, because they're the people working on it and they want to, it's exciting for them to see someone playing their game, you know, in front of an audience. It's, it's normally, speaking from personal experience, it's exciting, but also terrifying. Terrifying <laughs> at the same time. Oh, you did it. Have you done it? <sighs> well, well, let's end on a high. I think that was, uh, yeah. Perfect I think timing. Gonna, <laughs> you finished the game, James, congratulations. It's the advice we gave him. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. That's I, I don't know why you didn't listen to, to Chris the earlier. Uh, but <laughs> I love this game, it's great. <laughs> I loved it well, so much that I have 
spent four PayPal attempts getting it to the point that I just got it. It's three pounds. It's three pounds seventy six. I mean, even currently. at five, even at five seventy nine, thirty five percent off. You should be buying this. Um, additionally, uh, the soundtrack is also discounted as well. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the soundtrack quite a lot. Actually. It's a nice soundtrack. Um, I wonder if the dev also did this, or if they have someone who made the music. Uh, either way, you can follow that link, or you can go to uh, you can go to. Oh wow, scroll up a second, Alex. What's that about? Uh, scroll up a second, where the, the dev in the chat. The dev said something about Tony Hawk Pro Skater. She thought you would enjoy that. It's a what? nice little story for you that, it's your kind of story. I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater all of my childhood. My wife and I met on Tony Hawk Pro Skater PS2 online. Then we got together and married, so it's kind of unpleasant. Okay, that's I feel like that's pretty your, amazing. For me, that's 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 a good too mushy story. for me. That's that's right up that's Alex's what, street. That's what I like about Tiny Teams. Yeah. Look, exclamation mark, Tiny Teams. I'm going to type it in chat. I'm pressing enter right now. The link will come up. Go there, uh, and you can you can see Red Ronin. You can see all the other games we played this evening, and you can see the game we're about to play uh, right now. Yes. Guys, get logged on to your Steam accounts. Um, Sydney, we need to now have our own um, Steam accounts logged in um. and have access to our own PCs. Do we need to break for a minute? Or are we... Okay, so we're going to take a couple of minute break while we uh, switch wires around and stuff, where Sydney like helps us out. And then, uh, we're, and then we're going to be back and we're going to play our final game, which is Pixel Skating. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Uh, and uh, while... while you're waiting. Just, just go and buy Pixel Skating. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost anything at all. It costs like what? Less than less than this bottle of beer that I'm drinking right now. Or for free, there's a demo. There's a demo for and free as well. You if you don't want to buy it, just 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 check out the demo. Check out the demo. Wish list it or buy it or play the demo. One of those three things. And remember, for one last one last note. We don't tell a lot of people do because people always forget about it. Uh -huh. If you're going to buy something and you really enjoy it, leave a review. That's true as well. That because might be asking too much, but no. <laughs> <laughs> leave a Chris review. is better at this than I am. I'm Maybe sorry. we should do this in the final half an hour with just leave reviews on games that we like. Yeah, why, do we, why are we doing that? <laughs> we should have done that for let's, next year. We're going to have next a stream where we, we have just... A, we're set we, we just you should really review. leave the reviews. We'll have a three-hour stream where we just leave reviews on every game in Tiny Teams. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've literally played them all, so I mean, that's... Yeah, that's, that's perfect. true. Yeah. All right. Well, look... One Sorry, final game. Again. Sorry. We're uh, <laughs> in the break. James is going to finish Red Ronin, and then he'll tell you all about it in a couple of minutes' time. But until then, uh, we'll see you in a second, and we'll be playing Pixel Skater. See you in a minute. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye.